So we're wondering if the number of students can be distributed equally over m classrooms. So we're wondering if n over m is an integer. And we've got a constraint here. We know that uh, m actually can only be these numbers, right? We can list these out. There aren't that many, so why not? These are the possibilities. And we know that uh, n is greater than or equal to 14. So statement one tells us that, that 3n over m is an integer. I would start off picking a value for m, one that relates to the 3, one that's divisible by 3 that will cancel out with the 3, at least partially cancel out. And then let's pick a value for n that, again, satisfies the constraint that this is an integer. And so we just need something that uh, is, is even, so uh, we, could, we could use 14. 3 times 14 over 6 is definitely an integer because the 3 cancels and then the 2 cancels here, right? So we're left with 7. So that works. But if we just have n over m, not 3n over m, just the n over m part, the 14 over 16, that would be a no. n over m is certainly not an integer. So this gives us a no for our question. But of course, we could also have a yes for our question. As long as we have, we could use the same uh, m value of 6, just make some n something that's divisible by 6. For instance, 18 will work. So 3 times 18 over 6, of course, that's an integer. But also, 18 over 6 is an integer. So this is going to give us a yes. So we have a no and a yes. So statement 1 is going to be insufficient. Statement 2 looks pretty similar. We're told that if you multiply n by 13, then that divided by m is going to be an integer. There's not going to be any remainder. We're going to be able to spread out those students equally amongst the classrooms. The difference is, though, that is that M is never going to be a factor of 13 because M is between 3 and 13. And none of those numbers, 4 through 12, go evenly into 13. So there's no way that there's cancellation here. Which means, for this expression to be an integer, it must be that the cancellation is here, that m over m is an integer. So statement two is sufficient. And if you have any doubts about this, just look at your m numbers. You can just do all of them, put them all in there, make, make a scenario, make a bunch of scenarios with different m's, and you'll see you will never get 13 and m interacting not possible. It has to be that the cancellation is happening between N and M.